practice? We're talking about practice. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. We're in the plan, which is my weekly show that I discuss all the different things that are going on on the freaking hollow tables every single week, except for last week because I had a catastrophic sleep incident where I, I fell asleep and I didn't wake up until it was time for my work, like my other job. The, the non-content creation job and so I didn't make it and honestly it felt kind of good uh, you know that it's gonna hurt me in the long run to not have that video out of course but it did feel pretty nice to leave you guys all hanging and not having the plan that being said we we do have some irresponsible reporting to do today, folks. We've got Riva, who needs to be buffed, which sounds so ludicrous. Uh, we have a leak that I think has been covered elsewhere, but I did want to show you guys that stuff, give you my thoughts on it. And I want to show you an obscene mod that I just rolled. So before we do anything, I want to throw a huge shout out to my patrons and say you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for everything, for your support. It is truly, truly appreciated, all of the support you guys. I need, I need it <laughs> As for what I'm trying to do here, guys. It's, uh, I couldn't do it without you, so thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. And I know that we just had someone add to this i wasn't able to update the graphic yet so uh, we'll get to that very shortly now if you want to support the channel for free all you've got to do folks is hit that like button subscribe comment help me mount the algorithm it's a good time folks enough said i don't know if i've ever said enough said that way i don't really care about my commentary about it enough said about that too now, news-wise, we've got... Uh, so, uh, because I wasn't able to announce it last week, this week, I uh, just wanted to make sure everyone understood. So, we, we've got the I've got the Crate Expectation show that's been going on for like a year at this point, I think. And so, uh, you can see, though, we have someone different. We have Kate, famous Kate, and she is filling in for Sarah for right now. Uh, it's temporary and all of that. However, Sarah is off, a lot of people have asked, she uh, has, she is off because she was having her child, and I just want to communicate to those who care, which I'm sure a lot of you do, that Sarah is healthy and happy, and so is baby, and that's it, nothing more, but uh, everything is going swimmingly, even if it's a mistake to swim in Canada because it's freaking cold. Now, other content that I've been making, I made a Bosque video for the Explained series and a Kyle Katarn video, and they have not really gotten that many views. I was hoping that we'd continue to grow views on this series. It's just, I think I've had five videos out at this point, and it's pretty work intensive, folks. A lot of good feedback, and yet, well, the, the views aren't aren't getting there, so we'll keep trying for a little bit. Um, a little bit discouraging, but I, I do recommend them. I'll, like, most of the people who like them, or most of the people who watch them do like them, so... I don't know. I don't know, guys. Click faster, maybe? Or, I, I don't know. Just, uh... Hope that that's gonna work. Now, another series that I started that I haven't commented on because I skipped a week was I, I'm I'm making a crash course series, which I'm trying to make videos that are somewhere in the 15 minute range. It's uh it's very difficult, folks, to try to encapsulate the essence of each faction. You know, kind of doing the faction essentials just really abbreviated. So I'm doing that with uh you know like nicer infographics and being able to you know show you guys the modding and everything. I, I just can't show you everything in their kits. I can't show you how they're all connected. Faction essentials are ideal in terms of like uh, being able to really put everything together and show you how it's all done. However, 
this crash course videos hopefully will at least get you, you know, to where the modding is right, to where, to where the, you know, you can actually operate with the team without having to spend, you know, 30 to 40 to 50 minutes listening to me ramble about a faction you don't really care about. So check those out, folks. Good times. I don't know if I'll be putting them out every single week, but... I, probably for a little bit, I'm gonna try uh, just to just to get a decent backlog of them or whatever, a, a good amount of them, so you guys can have something to reference. Now let's go on to more current things. Here is a Datacron that I a Datacron, a, a mod, dear lord, that I just rolled. Um, it's. It's a little disappointing speed-wise, like it could be higher rolling there, but the offense value value is just crazy. I mean, it's really close to if you had just rolled a primary, an offense primary on it. Honestly, guys, like that's it's a, it's a cool one. Which which character would you guys put this on? Uh, I I was thinking General Skywalker actually. Gosh, I don't like my new format for these for this uh, show, guys. <laughs> this uh, I don't like the little little rectangle it's not wonderful looks looks too weird with the blue rectangle over it but it's too late guys it's too late for this one at least all right so we've got this mystery folks the the po poggle got an oh no, micron and we'll look at that in a minute uh, but they they were making we had meet who you know the community manager He's he's sending out these messages saying like, hey, Poggle is um, broken. There's something crazy happening with Poggle, but he's be he was being real mysterious about it. Like, just wouldn't tell us what the problem was. Which usually CG is like, yeah, okay, here's the problem. Unless it's like a big issue that they don't want a lot of people to find out about. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, like we <laughs> you can. You can do this really crazy exploit in the raid, and it's just gonna just break things, you know. Uh, but that's not what it is. That that's not what it is. The I solved the mystery. Actually, I didn't. But uh, someone on Reddit posted that they could use their geos after they applied the Omicron. They could use them in conquest. And heaven forbid, CG let us have some kind of fun in conquest. It has to be boring. Like we're not here to have fun. We have to grind. We have to be a little bit miserable. And if we want to engage in their cool new, I mean, it's not even that new, but you know, like Datacrons, if we want to engage in them, not only do we have to suffer through a really bad user interface, like like an embarrassingly bad user interface, we also have to spend hours grinding conquest in mind-numbingly boring ways. And so, I mean, it, it costs a lot to, these days. If you want to do PvP, you've got to spend the time grinding Datacrons. And I'm not preaching to you, I'm not telling you you should. In fact, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's worth it anymore. I love PvP, and I will probably continue to do it because I enjoy PvP, but the cost of entry is a lot, folks. It's not just, like, money, and it's not just a big account. It's it's also a huge amount of time and effort. And if I want to compete with people in GAC, in Territory Wars, I need a certain baseline of Omicrons, and it's just a little bit expensive at this point. It's not a little bit, it's a lot of expensive. Uh, I call this week Hell Week because I don't enjoy it. I have to do territory battles, which I mean, it's fine, but they, they've they made it this big chore. Like, I think I've, I've just started autoing things. I mean, it's it's that bad. I just like said it. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know what, I, what score I got. I guess I'll just move on to the next one because apparently, you know, I like my phone just, you know, exited out of whatever final screen it was in and uh, you know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to play Conquest. I don't look forward to it. Uh, I, I, something's got to give, folks. If I want, if you want to play PvP, uh, they're, they're making us spend too much time in game. And it's, at this point, it feels like Conquest has got to go, or at least the time investment, which is unfortunate because I, I do like the way Datacrons shift the meta. It's, uh, it's a lot less, a lot less boring these days. All right, so that being said, Poggle Omicron is interesting because it's a mid-game Cron. Now, a lot of people, uh, or Omi, whatever, a lot of people are saying that, uh, you know, it, 
<laughs> okay, so I, I, I put out a video with Kate. We were talking about uh, about the Omicron, and we were like, well, uh, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be a good long-term investment. And a lot of people who are earlier game kind of took exception to that, which was an interesting thing. I didn't really anticipate it because... I, I, I struggle sometimes, I guess, like, obviously, like, we all have blind spots, and, uh, you know, you get accusations that you're not connected, you know, you like, you've, you're totally, uh, lost touch with, with the lower level uh, accounts and stuff, and, I mean, I get that on some levels, for sure, like, <laughs> uh, you know, just like, just like, the people in the lower level accounts are totally disconnected from where I'm at in the end game. Uh, I, though I will say this, uh, I don't, I don't think like maybe the Poggle Omicron is going to be a really good game changer. I, well, we'll see, we'll see. I, I'll keep up an open mind. I will say that I think that Poggle Omicron is is just kind of a. I mean, I just long term. It's not going to make you bring you a lot of joy. It's like, oh yeah, I have this Omicron, but it doesn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, sim similar with with Chief Chirpa. I've had a few people comment and say like, oh yeah, like I I don't regret Chief Chirpa. I'm glad that I put I'm glad I put that Omicron on. And I, for the most part, the people I talk to though say, yeah, I regret it. it. Wasn't a good move, even though it won me a couple fights here and there. It, now I don't have enough Omicrons for the ones for the characters I really want to upgrade, and so I don't know. I, I feel like my perspective uh, from the end game uh, level should, I, I guess, just kind of bleed through in the sense that, like, well, I'm not telling you you guys can't apply this. I hope that it's good for you. Whatever you do, I hope that something's happy for you and really beneficial. I also really hope you understand that. My perspective is coming from like a long term, you know, like after a few years worth of, of you know, advancing your account, you're going to want those Omicrons to apply on good characters that are going to be long term good. And, and there's a lot of still really good Omicrons that are out there that you can apply now that are going to continue to be good even in the end game. So I don't know. I, I hope, I wish you all luck. I hope the Poggle walls just really succeed. I also think it's very interesting though that the Poggle Omicron came out right as Trench is about to be unlocked by a lot of people. And it's almost sending the message of like, hey, don't even try Trench with the, the Geos. He, like, they're taken. Like, you may as well just throw one on Poggle and just use, like, Trench is not designed for them. And, I don't know, it, it seems weird because I, I initially, when I was looking at Trench's kit, the thing that stuck out to me the most was Geo's seemed to ramp pretty nicely under him. And so, I guess we'll just see how that goes, folks. I'm, <laughs> I don't really care. Honestly, I, I don't... Uh, th this this is real selfish of me. I'm just gonna say it though. I I kind of hope that Trench is garbage. I hope that he's just totally awful. And even though I've been putting the effort into unlocking him, and everything in Conquest, I just I don't want to. And and here's the thing. It's not that I hate territory wars. I mean I don't like them necessarily. Like sometimes they're fun, but you know I'm I'm getting more engagement out of them lately actually. But here's the thing. I don't want them to come in, that Poggle team to come in and ruin my Maul team. I, I want Maul to be awesome at, still, and if he steals Watt and Django, that, that Maul team is really hurting. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes with Trench and everything. I, I kind of hope he's garbage, just because uh, I'm selfish. Now, the CG released a bug fix recently, uh, like w with their most recent update, and one of them said, fix an issue where Third Sister would inflict more than six purge on enemies who have revived. And uh, it looks a little bit like maybe that's just um, false. Maybe they didn't fix it. So just keep that in mind, I guess. I don't know. Now, I will say this, folks, so this is just a screenshot, I think from someone in my guild, who was saying they used Lord Vader against Reva, and, just, like, the only character who even got a turn was Lord Vader. Everyone else was dead before they even, like, could go, and, like, I have to wonder, is this power level warranted? Like, Reva can easily 
auto like every team everything all the all the galactic legends like she doesn't she there's like two teams that beat her and the, it's not like it's not clean it's not pretty it, it is incredibly ugly and i get that she's really tough to get people are saying well with how tough she is to get she should be better than than galactic legends but this level of power creep is crazy this is this is like it's not just like uh it's not just like one little step forward or something where it's like oh yeah jabba you know sure he's like the best gl on some levels at least but you know he's tough to deal with he's good uh, you know like he jabba was a good like step reva is is like a sprint for like 10 seconds level of step like it, it's it's reva there, there's nothing that comes close to beating a Riva team, really, it, like not not easily at least, and I I think it's appalling, frankly. I think that it's crazy that it's this strong. I think CG might not care, which is even more discouraging. But I I don't I don't. How can this game be balanced if they're gonna release squads that are sometimes just so crazy overpowered, like? I, I I thought she was gonna be really good. I I didn't think she would be this good though. I, I'm I'm concerned about it, frankly, folks. Uh, so th here's here's my title page. You know I, I know that I was just saying I know that <laughs> the thumbnail said Riva needs to be buffed, and it's true actually. As crazy as it is, uh, so right now Riva is not getting. So she's a tank. You know like she's not an attacker. She's not a healer. She's a tank. And, you know, that means she taunts, and she, so for level, going up from Relic 8 to Relic 9, that little boost is sig very significant for tanks only. Everyone else gets a, a pretty minor shift, which is kind of frustrating because of how crazy expensive it is. Uh, it's also nice, though, because then you can just kind of ignore it for the most part. But you can see on the right-hand side, I have... General Kenobi's upgrade from eight to nine, and uh, you get like 13k health and 20k protection just from upgrading from Relic eight to nine. Reva is only getting 5k and 9k, which means she's only getting, she, she's just getting like the the basic stuff that everyone gets, and so like they're not giving her the full upgrade for being a tank from eight to nine, which is crazy she's already like way overpowered and yet they've they've actually underpowered her in some ways which you know it's, it's kind of discouraging that she's still that good i mean i don't know how much difference that many hit points makes but uh you know she she's gonna be buffed here pretty soon folks it's, i don't know if it's gonna be like that noticeable but that's it's a thing <laughs> all right so final piece of news here folks we have something that was on their website and was taken down pretty quickly. Uh, it's, it's talking about the April calendar. And so we're gonna have the Sith Marauder as the character, login character for, for it. And uh, because he, he pilots a ship that, that, with the Sith Empire stuff that, uh, you know, it, um, it synergizes with the new Fury class Interceptor, which they haven't announced yet. That's not official, but this was this was on their website somewhere. Uh, you know, obviously everyone took screenshots and then they took it down, but the screenshots persist. So Fury Class Interceptor is something from like Darth Malgus's time. So there's Darth Malgus with Sith Empire troopers. I don't know who's gonna be the pilots. Malgus would be a crazy pilot, honestly. Like. Uh, so, like, both of my accounts have Malgus. It's not a big deal to me if if he's unlocked. I don't I don't really, or, you know, like, or if the it's, it's ship is pilots. Like, I, all the people I face have Malgus. And they'll all be able to unlock the ship. And, like, if this is the new Conquest ship, or even if it's just a marquee character or whatever, uh, like, Malgus being the pilot seems a little crazy to me. Like, that's... that That's, um... That's, that's a very, very rare pilot for people who are just starting the game, for instance, and they're, they're like, oh man, I really want a Sith Empire fleet. Like, 
That that's a really tough ask. Like, how do you get Malgus at, at the in the early game? You, you kind of just don't. And so the ship is just kind of off limits uh, for several different layers. Uh, my guess would be it's more likely that Sith Empire Trooper is the pilot. I, I don't know for sure, obviously, but I think it's fun that there's a Lego set with Malgus and Sith Empire Troopers. Now, uh, the question is, okay, so if that's going to be the new Conquest character or whatever, uh, you know, maybe it's just a marquee. It sounds like they're going to boost the Sith Empire fleet or the Sith fleet or whatever. And there's been a rumor for a long time that the Ravager is incoming, which is Nihilus's capital ship. And, uh, you know, like everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's coming. Like, for sure it's coming. There was like this leak that the people, you know, I, I think I think people are blowing it a little out of proportion. <laughs> we, we've debated this, I guess. We don't need to go into it. But there was a leak at some point, or at least some speculation that guessed a lot of things accurately. One of the things that they got quote unquote wrong was that the Ravager was incoming. And so. It may, might just be that they decided to delay it, or maybe it was never coming in the first place, but if these ships are coming out, like, we, we gotta have some someone to lead them, right? Like, we don't have a dedicated Sith uh, pilot, or Sith, Sith capital ship, and, uh, you know, Ravager would work as well as anything. It's very confusing, though, because Trench is, in theory, going to have his own capital ship at some point. Not that I really want his capital ship or whatever, but, I mean, why do you release an Admiral Trench character that with no ship? Like, I mean, why, why release Bodhi Rook and not, like, they're like, hey, everyone in your faction's a pilot except for you, and you're the pilot, but, you know, because you're so much of the pilot, I guess we just don't need to give you a ship, because it's, like, implied that you're a pilot, you don't need the ship to show that you're a pilot, it's, it's foolishness, but, uh, anyways, it, it just makes him such a worthless character <laughs> in so many ways, uh, but, anyways, we, the, the Nihilus is a pilot, shit, like, this, this should be interesting, I, I don't know. I, I'd be okay with this, I suppose. Um, I think it's interesting. That, like, it was a leak from a long time ago. You can see or a rumor for a long time. So uh, this is, I think, one of Arnold's thumbnails from a long time ago. From yeah, it was uploaded on November twenty fifth on on twenty twenty one. So it was a. Uh, it's over a year ago. Now, this is not shade at all. People have been saying that I've been throwing shade at him, and I don't believe that I ever, well, I probably have in the past. I don't, I don't try to. Uh, you know, I actually greatly admire what Arnold's done, even if we have different styles. Um, I'm like jealous. Look at all those views. Gosh, that's crazy, man. But uh, I, I just took this thumbnail to show that, like, this has been a thing for a while. So we're all just like kind of jumping to conclusions, like, oh my gosh, we, <laughs> we should get a mat, a jump to conclusions mat, it's the best idea ever, right? So I don't know if this is what we're going to have. Like, what if Trench is, for some reason, like he's a separatist, I don't know why he would be, I guess he's like kind of has some association with Sith, like with Count Dooku and with like kind of with Sidious through the proxy of Dooku or whatever, but... I, I don't know, like, I I, th I think that would be one of the more awful things to have, you know, we have Piet, who's the, who's the capital ship uh, guy for bounty hunters, and, the, you know, like, the Executor is, is an Imperial ship, and yet, it's really a bounty hunter fleet, and so I'm wondering if we're gonna have something like that, like, we're just gonna have Admiral Trench, who's a separatist, but he somehow commands like Sith Empire fleets. Like that seems really lame. If you're gonna go through the trouble, like we already, we're gonna have a lot of ships now. Like we have the the Extinction Bomber. We're gonna have this cool new Fury class thing. What's it called? Yeah, Fury class starship. Um. We're gonna, we already have the Sith Fighter, which maybe that'll get a boost of some sort. Like, we're starting to get, like, this. we have the Scimitar that doesn't really do that much. Uh, we, we have a lot of Sith ships. I mean, maybe we could even sneak Darth Vader out of there, because he's Sith. Uh, I'd, I'd be very interested to see how this fleet would look. And if Trench is the pilot, color me 
I don't know, amused, I guess. I don't. I guess I don't really care that much. Like, it, the continuity of it would kind of wrinkle, but... Anyways, folks, I think that's it for today. Uh, 5v5's coming up, so that, that'll be interesting. Riva is going to begin her reign of terror very soon. Expect to see her with Lord Vader. Alongside Lord Vader, bolstering that team and making life miserable for most of us. So, anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails. <laughs>